Hello, hello. Here I am again, Gabriella, creator and founder of Gab Talks, where mindset matters with some more success tips. So here we are having this conversation about getting out of your comfort zone. And I bet it is triggering anxiety. I know because when I push through my comfort zone, whew, it triggers anxiety with me. When I started the process of pushing through my comfort zone some years ago, it was the hardest thing to do, harder than anything else I had ever done because you get stuck and settled into this space that's super comfortable and you know what's going on and you don't have to worry about um, failure and all these other things. So how do you deal with the anxiety that comes with pushing out of your comfort zone? Well, there's several emotional states that you can expect to travel through. And of course, one of those is anxiety and fear. And you could have some panic when you first try to leave the space that you feel is comfortable and not um, used to doing things. Thankfully, thankfully, it gets easier with repetition and the more that you try. The anxiety state is the place where most people give up and retreat back into those confines that they've created, those self-constructed small box, um, small room of the comfort zone and give up their goals and plans. It is the hardest emotion to work through. So how do you get past it? Here's a few hints to keep in mind when you feel like giving up. All right, you've heard this before. It sounds really simple. And guess what? It is breathe. It's that simple. When you breathe, especially deep power breaths, it calms the nerves, it slows the heart rate down, it lowers the fear. Breathing through the nose and out through the mouth, count to yourself as you breathe, two seconds in, four seconds out, concentrate on the count, focus on the breath. I know it sounds simple, but trust me, it makes a big difference. Three big, deep power breaths. And if three is not enough, do three more. Calm yourself down with slowing your heart rate and calming your nerves with breathing. Now, take a moment and ask yourself, what are you so worried about? Be specific. Being afraid or being anxious is almost never about the unknown or even the fact of leaving your comfort zone in the first place. It's almost always about something very specific. You may not realize it and recognize it right away, but it is. And if you stop and ask, what exactly am I afraid of? And let yourself come up with the answer. You will be surprised of what it is that is triggering. Are you afraid of being rejected? Are you afraid of being embarrassed? Are you afraid of succeeding? Name the specific thing you are afraid of. Fear has a tendency to only see the last bad outcome. Fear can't understand that there's the possibility of a good outcome, only the bad, the failure, the problem, the things that are gonna go wrong. Fine, address it, write down every pitfall that you think is going to happen. Write down the failures that you think of. Give it all of the worst case scenarios for all the possible outcomes. And then write out a solution. If this happens, I will. And use that to quiet your fears. If you, if you take the time to allow yourself to think through all the fears, all the pitfalls, all the bad things, write them out, write out the worst case scenario. A lot of times you'll look at it and you might actually go, what? That's over the top. It's not going to be that bad. And then you write out the positive, the solution. Oh my gosh. It helps so much to deal with the anxiety. Fear, it just, it can't see the positive, the good turnout. So like I said, write out all the good things that can happen, the benefits that can come when you leave your comfort zone, when you reach for these goals, when you reach for your dreams. Let your fear know that there are other ways for these positive outcomes to happen. And go ahead and list the pitfalls, list the pitfalls of staying inside your comfort zone. Not so much the pitfall of what will happen if you do try to get out of your comfort zone, but if you don't take action, and stay right where you are. There are many 
but your fear needs to know this. You don't have to get that promotion. You become expendable. You don't get to meet people. You don't bring anything new into your life. The list is endless of what the pitfalls are if you stay exactly where you are. So write those out and show your fear what's going to happen if you don't break through the comfort zone. Staying in your comfort zone can be emotionally and mentally draining in the long term. Without challenge, we stagnate, we atrophy like a muscle that's never used. In order to grow, to become more than what we are now, we need to stretch and get through the safe confines of our comfort zone. We need to push through the anxiety and push through the fear. Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope you got value today. We want to give a huge shout out of gratitude to our contributors. Please make sure you click the subscribe button below and don't forget to click the bell up above to get reminders when we add new content.